Hey there, we're going to keep a sandwich in. Today, I'm going to play some more of the Dead Linger. And uh, there's sort of bad news in a way. The game's loading. Um, the hot fix kind of fucked things up a bit and maybe messed up, me, me, messed it up a wee, a wee bit. And it kind of sort of maybe, oh crap, really crazy spawn here. A lot of zombies. It um it made it so basically any world before mine is kind of messed up. Like it's crazy messed up, and it's ridiculous. Like literally, there was giant holes in the ground that you would fall, and like it, it was just horrible. I'll show you guys in a sec. So uh, I fell down here, and I died, and then I spawned in here again, which is just fucking perfect because I can't get the fuck out of here. Well. Fuck. And uh, it was it was just bleh. I didn't know that could even happen and this so it was pretty upsetting. But it's whatever. So I guess I had to start a new I had to start a new world. And uh, yeah. So this one is it's oh zombie dog, go away. Why? Why must my day start so complicated? Zombie dogs are fast and annoying. Go away. Go away, you fucking dog. You fucking wanker. I like it. Mr. Fatso over here. Go away, you. I don't want you either. Oh, look, finally, some supplies are spawning in. They, would, they weren't doing this before. I mean, they shouldn't be spawning in standing up, but I'm not judging, so. <laughs> is that dog still after me? Yeah, it probably is. It is, but it's far away. Okay, good, 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 good. Come on. So once I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in this house over here. Just cause I feel like I'm a, I'd be a good distance away from the dog already. Hopefully there's a gun in there, cause there probably will be, considering most houses have guns or some kind of weapon. Hopefully there will be a gun, so that can uh, mess that guy up. Why aren't the door closing? Fuck, the door's not closing. Well, that's a zombie over there. Fudge. Go away. Okay, please be a, a weapon in here. If not, I'm fucked. Yes, okay. Look at that. Pretty good first house. So now I just need to come on. Reload my gun. Bam, look at that sexiness. And I even got some armor. Good. So since there's been a change of plans and since I had to start a new world. Hey there, Mr. Zombie. I've thought about what I should do. And this is update 14C, so they've updated this <gasps> version. No. Dang it. <gasps> what are you? My inventory is full from what? No. Okay, 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 come on. Fuck. We can make something work here. I, I can kill this zombie. Wow, is he really trying to break down the door? That's... That's a special kind of zombie right there. I picked up a pet rock? When did that happen? Oh, I'm sorry, Teddy, but this is an even better pet than you were. Oh, this is so fucking gnarly. Look at that guy. This guy's fucking got brains. Or maybe fucking not. Okay. And this guy is fucking crawling into the fucking window. Okay, so. Let's get rid of you. Oh, we're not. Let's get rid of you. Did I get rid of you? Oh my god. So many zombies in the first five minutes of the game. Oh crap. Out of ammo.
Come on. Oh, you, hey. How's it going? How's it going, bro? Okay, I'm gonna get that M16, because those have, like, a pretty good amount of bullets. And this gun is obviously not gonna suffice to what I want it to do. So, let's actually get rid of this. Fuck. I just got rid of my gun, what I didn't... Okay. Did I just take off my police vest? Why did I take my police vest off? Not entirely sure. So let's... Okay. Let's get some more. Oh, look, there's a zombie over there. I can see him on the road. Pretty bad first day for a new world. And what... Uh, I'm on George Street or something. Let's turn off my thingy. Heavy. Oh shit. I got the fucking whole horde coming over here. Look at this. I think they made zombies smarter because they usually don't have this many zombies coming at me. And this is what I mean by the, the city gets really crazy sometimes. Look at that, they're pushing each other down. This is a fight for the brains of mine. My brains is what it is, it's a fight for my brains. But literally, do, do these guys know? This guy's climbing the fucking fence, he's so determined. I have never seen such great zombie determination. Look at those trees. I'm getting all pixelated and stuff. Okay, so I've had enough fun here. What is that over there on the road? You know, I, I should probably get a bike and head out, head on out of here. Oh my god, that's a lot of... Okay, yeah, I need to get out of here. This city is getting pretty infested pretty fast. Okay, so let's check out what this is. I think it's a piece of plywood randomly just showing on the road. Maybe. Possibly. What the fuck? And I think that's exactly what it is. Yep, just random pieces of plywood chilling. For some reason. Okay. So something I've realized I have never seen and or been to in this game is a prison. So I keep on hitting my mic. So I guess maybe that should go away. Maybe that should be my goal. Find a prison and fortify the fuck out of that. And then just... And if you hit shift it goes faster apparently. Thanks Mr. Jimmy Blake. Didn't think it would actually... Kind of faster. So, maybe... I don't even know where the heck I'm going. I hope I don't fall into a giant pit of nothing again. Hopefully. I should have taken a road, but you know, I'm a rebel. I don't need a road. Come on, let's get there. What happened? What's going on? What is this? Where's my bike going? No! What the fuck? What is happening? What the fuck? Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is a new world refresh. That's right. It gets all foggy instead. It still kind of slows you down. This is kind of funky. It's weird. This will take some getting used to. Oh my god, there's still some giant planes of nothing here. I should have, yeah, I should have taken a road. But, get again, I'm a rebel. Don't need roads. So, this world is actually bigger than our own world. It's 64 by 64,000, 64,000 by 64,000 kilometers. So it's freaking huge. This is way bigger than DayZ is. And when this game is completely done, this will be like the craziest zombie apocalypse game ever. Because online, though, I had I had a request to play the game online so you could see how it was, how stable it was. I forgot who, who I think it was something Chris. Um, but online right now, I tr trust me, you, you, on some servers, you can't even pick up weapons or anything. And you can't even pick up food. And it's right over there. And I don't know why, don't ask me. 
I feel like the next episode, uh, the next update is uh, Sirens of a City. They might stabilize multiplayer a bit more, or maybe they'll make an update just to focus on multiplayer. But for now, the game is what the game is. What? Random rock spawns of all out of nowhere, and random trees spawning into. Hey there, Mr. Rocks. Um, uh, sorry to interrupt your family reunion, Mr. Rock. Okay. Well, let's. It's just kind of weird. I don't. Why are there so many rocks? I thought they'd take this off with all these fucking rocks. I feel like I'm going through some kind of. I don't even know. Rocky places. But what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, when a game is completely finished. Or it's probably never going to be. Well, according to the. Developers, the game won't be completely finished after it's fully released. It's still not going to be done. They're going to be working on more things. And what the hell is going on? More world refresh. And what? Okay. Now I can't tell if I'm going forward or backwards. That's kind of a downer. I don't want to be going in circles like last time. Ah, oh, okay. And final. Fuck. So, I was riding on my bike for like 30 minutes, and I just kept on going through rocky plains and fields for just some fuck reason. So, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I started a new world. And I actually spawned right here right now, so let's see what happens. And look, this is kind of weird because there's no roads leading anywhere, and it's just a random mailbox. But, uh, I don't know. So I have nothing again. Starting off with poop. And I want that zombie to see me just because I don't want anything to do with him yet. My freaking mustache is here. Alright. My mustache is cheese. Oui, oui. Oh, I already saw me. Fuck it. Whatever. I don't care. Ah, oh, what the... You're a lame zombie. So, let's get on up here. I have actually never survived in a barn. I could do that. Be like The Walking Dead for a couple of days like they did for... Ooh, this place actually has some decent texture. I like the barns. The barns are probably the best houses. And look at that. What do you mean, full? So let's pick up. Come on, pick it up. No, I don't want the mattress. Get out of the way. I want you. Okay, so. Let's look for a different weapon. This is not going to suffice me in the future. Probably because these bow and arrows are probably going to be really bad. Just saying. What is this? Okay. Some nice salt. And you can actually use salt to make venison. But, or to make like cooked venison or whatever. But deer are hard to find. Which is actually, I really like the barn. The barn is really cool. Oh, this is actually, if it feels like home. Except for these cornfields, they're kind of creepy. I mean, just look at that nice pixelated corn. That just came out of my mouth. You. Meet your maker. I hope I'm not running for a long time. Whoa. Ooh! What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? This guy just dropped ammo out of his head. Is that new? Do zombies now s drop random items? What? <laughs> Excuse me. That was we I seriously had no idea of that of that happening. Actually, I should check the barn out. 
I don't know how long this episode has been going on for, but I was traveling for a while looking for a damn bar. I'm, I'm gonna cut that off though. I'm not looking for a bar, I'm looking for something else other than tits. Uh, I, I always say tits, but I can't think of what, I, what to say. Excuse me for that. I'm a tits kind of guy when it comes to not knowing what to say. So let's... I might actually leave the episode after here because I have no idea how long I've been recording for. I don't know, it's been a while, but don't know how much editing I could do with this. Okay, so Jimmy Blake told me that the barn has, not the barn, the cabin has a second floor. You just need like a, something to get up there. I just heard something. That was weird. You just need something to get up there and this barn has nothing. And I, whenever I find a cabin, I actually will do that just to see what happens. See how cool it is up there. How chillaxing it is. Feels like a treehouse or not. I fucking love treehouses. Okay, so there's a pickaxe in here. What do you use pickaxes for? There's nothing really you could do right now. Oh, look at that nice climbing skills. Okay, can you get off? There we go. So I'm not sure if you only get loot from zombies when you shoot one in the face or what with a bow and arrow, but that was the most unexpected thing I'd ever seen in this game. Like, the zombie dropping 9mm ammo out of his base. And down there, I see some trees and more over there. So I'm gonna head over there, and I actually no, I'll, I'll head over here. It looks closer. And I think actually no, I'll head over there. It looks good town. I don't know where should I head. All right. Like if you want me to go that way. Comment if you want me to go. No. Uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's fuck some bitches up. Okay, um... Excuse me, but... I don't recall there being... Uh... A giant town two feet away from my barn. Um... What the fuck? Where this this town literally spawned out of like Saint Majestic's sand tits? I don't know. This is weird. That barn, you cursed barn, you made me go all the way over there when it was a fucking town. See if, we, if this is a mirage, because I'm in sand. It could be a beach and or a desert. Don't be a mirage. Don't be a mirage, or I'll shoot your titties off. Let's see if I can actually get some more 9mm ammo from this zombie's brain. Hey, you, sir. You're looking mighty handsome. You know what I think will make you look better? A giant arrow inside your face. What? Reload. Sorry. Excuse me. You know what make you look handsome? A giant arrow inside your face. No ammo. You fucking twat. You fucking cock-sucking prick, yeah. All right, what about you? Oh crap! Should probably get some more ammo. Hey there! Drop some ammo, you f what? Oh, that guy lagged when he tried to eat my face. So I think it's maybe very rare that they drop ammo out of their face, or maybe it was just a glitch. I'm gonna guess it's a glitch because that's never happened. It's hey, there, Mr. Zombie. It's inside the wall. Um, but yeah, I think. This is cool. Okay, so I might stay at the barn over there. Because the barn feels like home for some reason. And this is the new town that I'm staying at. It looks awfully familiar. Awfully familiar. This is quite familiar, in fact. Okay, come on. Let's kill this one guy real quick. And let's go inside this house that I shall call home. I like the bone arrow, actually. It didn't used to be this good. Build 12. Uh, build 12 or build 13? I forgot what build it was. When they first added it, I, I would just shoot things, and nothing would die. Never really knew what, the why that would happen. And there's a zombie somewhere in this house. So, 
for my safety purposes, I have a backpack. And a block of block of luggage, which I'm not going to put on. So, this is what's happening right now. I am going to live in a barn. Don't judge me on that. Because, it, whoa, the city's kind of dangerous right now. And I'm going to use... I'm gonna try to be as careful as possible. I am going to check out the cabin eventually, see upstairs. And I need to try to find a prison too. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this and complete different videos. Cuban Sandwich and I'm signing out. Have a good night guys. Ain't nobody mess with the Cuban Sandwich.